Hello, everybody. Reverend Dr. Red here. Now, in this video, I just want to address something real quick. <coughs> now, uh, <coughs> I've been telling everybody for quite some time now that Christianity was going to become illegal here in the United States of America. And I'm not the only one that's been saying it. And there's been a whole lot of people out there saying it. And the response you normally get is, well, you're crazy. You're a free country. Why, why, why would your faith become illegal? Well, I got the questions and I answered the questions. Others have been saying it. Either just as long as I have, or, or longer than I've been saying it. And I've heard the questions, and I've answered the uh, questions. Now, I'm here to tell you in this video, and the day has come. It is now illegal to be a Christian. Now, the bill that it's in hasn't necessarily passed just yet. But even if it doesn't pass, and for a short time Christianity does stay legal in this country, this is a step in that direction. And we've been seeing it, like I've been saying, we've been seeing it in the new Department of Homeland Security as for the See Something, Say Something campaign. We've been seeing the, the clear anti-Christian rhetoric by these atheist constructed movements. We've been seeing this, this anti-Christian rhetoric from congressmen and women and numerous other politicians. <coughs> Bibles and, and, and prayer have been taken out of the schools. People are having fights just at crosses on their own property, let alone memorial crosses on the side of the road in remembrance of loved ones. There's people that are having problems with the local and federal governments as far as holding a simple gathering of their family and friends for Bible study once a week in their own homes. Church property has been getting taken back away from the owners of the church. The land and everything has been taken back by the local governments. <coughs> It has been getting a lot harder for local small-time churches and ministries of the Christian faith to set up a building and actually purchase property for that use. You know, there's been lots of things going on. <coughs> now, I've been speaking to you about whether it be in the videos, the podcast, the articles, and the website. If I that haven't been to the website, it's spiritualmessiahministries.org. And I have numerous others also talking to you about the different steps that have been getting taken that have been taken over time to rid this country of Christianity. And to put the United States Constitution through the shredder. And now that day has come. There are FEMA camps all over the country. It has officially come over the air a few weeks ago that they are active. And they have been active. And they're about to pick up more, more uh, prisoners. A bill that was passed said that there's going to be over 500,000 American terrorists <coughs> <coughs> detained <coughs> and brought to these camps. <coughs> There's already been, I don't remember the exact name of the video, <coughs> when you look it up, <coughs> there was a National Guard soldier 
that uh, they had a drill. Upon completing the drill, they were asked, can this drill consist of, this is for practice on the American people? And do you feel you can do it? Everybody stood there in silence. And so finally, one of the platoons, as a part in the drill, unloaded his weapon, lay down on the ground, exchanged some words with his MCO, telling him that he cannot and will not go against his oath to protect the American people, and he will not fire on American citizens, and he will not drag American citizens out of their homes. And then proceeded to step to the back of the formation. Within a few seconds, one by one, his entire platoon followed suit. Now the whole platoon didn't get in trouble, but the uh, soldier that started it, the soldier that started it, was later grabbed. Handcuffed and stuck in prison. He's going against the right orders. They're going to make an example out of him. So we're, we're going to see one of a couple of things happen here. These poor troops are going to be indoctrinated. That they are refusing today to come after American citizens. And they're going to be indoctrinated to do the same. They're going to be imprisoned. Or they're going to get at mass. But this poor soldier is going to be made an example of. And I forget the exact name of the YouTube video, but it is on YouTube. Now, my belief, I believe I have a link to it on my Facebook page. And you go to facebook.com slash Reverend Dr. Ray. As Reverend is spelled out R E V E R E N D. Doctor abbreviated D R and then red R E D. And I'm leaving somewhere on my Facebook page. I have a link to the YouTube video. So if you can't find it on YouTube, searching for it, go to my Facebook page, and you should be able to find it. <clears throat> and in this bill, now I'm speaking of that was passed. If you go to ChristmasIMinistries.org, I believe it's still the front article that you're going to see as soon as you go to the website. In the article I'm speaking of. Um, it's called something to the effect of a uh, National Defense Act or an attempt to undermine the U.S. Constitution. Uh, and the original article came from NJ.com, I believe. Which we better read. Look up what it says to look up, and you'll see exactly what I'm referring to. But in this bill, if it passes, and this one doesn't, believe me, there's going to be one that will. <clears throat> I haven't seen, seen to have been wrong yet on my predictions. It states. Embedded in roughly 683 pages, it states, If you are a Christian, if you are a homeschooler, if you are a gun owner, if you are a constitutionalist, if you belong to any organization or network, and that is believed to be seen as a threat to the United States government. Now this, this would be you know, like the Oath Keepers, the Tea Party, and organizations such as that. <coughs> and war veterans, including those who are coming home right now, today. War veterans are all seen as terrorists. Under that bill, if you are a war veteran, a homeschooler, a gun owner, a Christian, 
a member of an organization or network, such as Tea Party or Yorkshire Keepers or any organization such as that. You are seen as a terrorist in the eyes of the government. You are seen by the United States government and the United States military is now being trained now as the enemy. They have successfully made just about the entire population of the United States of America the enemy. This isn't a joke, folks. Now, I want to ask you a very simple question. Alright? Now, I haven't been wrong yet on my predictions. And there's many others out there who have been predicting the same thing. They've been, they've been, we, we, we've all been lying down the proof in front of you. Telling you what's going on. Telling you what's going to happen. And telling you different actions can, can be taken to stop this from going any further. To stop it in its tracks. To keep our freedoms. You told us we're all crazy. We don't know what we're talking about. That can't happen. This is America. Well, it just happened. It just happened. Now, word this might be out there, buddy, because it's happened roughly two weeks ago. And I see that it's already hit all the Tea Party websites and a few other uh, news based websites. And there's quite a few other people that I have seen talking about it. You may already know all this. Just in case you don't, I mean, I need to inform you about this. This is what my job is. As a Christian minister, this is what my job is to look out for my people. If you are an American citizen and you are of the Christian faith, then you are my people. It is my job to inform you of what's going on. And it is my job to do what I can to protect you and to keep you safe. And that's what, I'm, what I intend to do. That is exactly what it is that I'm trying to do. Now, getting back to my question. Now, we've all been telling you, we've been lining out the evidence in front of you. We've been telling you step by step what's happening, what's going to happen a rough estimated time of when it was going to happen and you've been telling us time and time again that we're all crazy every last one of us, we're all crazy whether you want to call it extremists, radicals, fundamentalists you know, depending on who you're hearing it from a uh, 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 Christian or if you're hearing it from an atheist or a Buddhist or uh, uh, Shaman, you know, you might have different terminologies for what you might call them. That's fine and great. Fact matters, you've all been saying the same thing to you for years. Some of you, some of them have been saying it to you longer than I have. Then again, you know, I am younger than the majority of them. And I am new to this. I've only been preaching for three years. And this particular ministry has only been open for, for roughly 10 months. Yeah, about 10, 10 and a half months. <clears throat> so I'm nowhere near as big of a name or as accessible to information as many of, the, many of these others are. The fact of the matter is, you've been telling us that we're all crazy. And you've ignored us. And you've done absolutely nothing. <clears throat> and what happened? Bible was out of school. <clears throat> Prayers out of school. You can't stay Merry Christmas in the workplace. A lot of establishments won't so much allow you to wear the cross in the workplace in fear it might offend somebody. You can't pray in schools or in the workplace or in the government, but the Muslims can. Explain to me how that's fair. Explain, explain to me how that makes all of us wrong and you're right. 
and explain to me how that is freedom of religion. The Christians can't do it, but the Muslims can. The Buddhists can't do it, but the Muslims can. This is creeping Sharia, folks. Now, get back on topic. The fact of the matter is, everything that's been said was going to happen, and everything you so hardly wanted to believe was a bunch of BS. Has now happened. Everything you did not want to believe, your own country, your own government, would do to you. They went ahead and did to you. Step by step by step, exactly as you were told it was going to happen by people like myself. <coughs> and I've been stressing the past 10 months <coughs> through King's Ministry and through King's Truth Coalition what's coming I saw what was happening years ago before I even had this ministry and before I even had my divinity degree and my ordination I started preaching now I was preaching about this I do not want to see a country the greatest country on the face of the planet to go down because the people are too stupid to see what they are allowing to happen to themselves our founding fathers did not die So that you can take everything that they fought for and throw it in the furnace to let it burn up and go to waste. I mean, let's think about this for a second. Do you not want to know that your children and your children's children? And your children's children's children will have a better life than what you had? Don't you want them to have a future to look forward to? Do you really want to hand them over as slaves? Well, that's exactly what you're doing. By sitting there and doing absolutely nothing, or believing that you can't do anything, all you are doing is guaranteeing not only yourself, but your kids and your kids' kids to be slaves. No freedoms. No rights. You work from the day you're born to the day you die. You live with shackles around your ankles. That's what you're doing. You've been, you've been, people, people have been trying to warn you. I've been trying to warn you about this. And what are you doing? Nothing. You're ignoring me. You're telling me I'm crazy. You're telling everybody else is telling me this. That they're crazy. Well, now it happened. This bill officially declares Christians, homeschoolers, gun owners, war veterans, Etc. as potential terrorists. And under this bill, if the government so much as suspects you are a terrorist, they will pick you up and they will detain you indefinitely. No trial. No anything. That's it. You're finished. You have seen your last days of the free world. You have seen your last days of the outside world. From now on, the only thing you will see 
is inside of your prison cell or the grounds of the, the FEMA camp or the concentration camp if you prefer where you're going to be housed. The FEMA camps are off and active. There are more FEMA camps going up as we speak. This is serious, folks. This is really serious. We are watching our freedoms wither away. We are watching our United States Constitution be ran through the shredder and all the shreds picked up and then thrown into the fire. It is our job here today, whether you be a war veteran, a Christian, a homeschooler, a gun owner, etc. Before though the shreds of the Constitution continue to burn, to stomp them out and piece the Constitution back together before it's too late. You can do something about this. We can do something to stop this. Don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Don't sit there and feel sorry for your children. Help your children. Make sure you stop any, any legislation that infringes on any rights, even if they go against your beliefs. Say you don't own a gun. You don't believe in the ownership of a gun. Or also the hoopla. But you see a bill when it's trying to pass and it's trying to strip all citizens of gun ownership. Fine. It's for what you believe in. But it goes against the Constitution, the very document that allows you to have the freedom to be against gun ownership. So stop it. Make sure that bill does not pass. Do whatever you have to. Contact the congressman or woman. Put rallies together. Put petitions together. Stop that bill from passing. If you want the Muslims to be allowed to pray in the workplace, allow for the Christians too. Allow for the Jews. Allow for the Buddhists. Allow for everybody. <coughs> the memorial crosses are being attacked. <coughs> so yes, some people look at that as an eyesore. But it is the freedom of the people to have that there in memory of a lost one, of a loved one. So stop it. Make sure that that memorial cross can stay there. The more rights that you allow to be taken away from us, you are helping not only yourself, but generations to come to wind up as slaves. And you're allowing this once great nation to fall into the hands of Satan. <clears throat> to fall into the hands of the socialist elite that have no use for us. Well, we are our slave laborers to them. This is real, folks. It's happening. I'm trying to warn everybody this is going to come. Now it's here. <coughs> 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 
and I'm going to continue doing what it is I do right to the end. I will not give up on America. And I will not give up on God the Father or on Jesus Christ. I will stand by them. I will stand by Jesus until the day I die. <clears throat> I will die a Christian before I live as a slave. I know I have my place in heaven. I'm not lying in bed with the devil. The question is, are you? And if your answer is yes, then you need to ask yourself, what are you going to do about it? Now, I want to put a very serious thought in your heads. Okay? I'm going to make this hit, hit home for you. Just so you can uh, understand how serious the situation really is. Say it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock in the morning. You lie in bed fully asleep. <clears throat> you wake up into this really loud pounding on your door. You try ignoring it and the pounding gets louder. So you get up out of bed. You make your way to the front door. You ask who's there. They respond. It's the FBI. Open up. So you reach. Uh, you start asking them well, why are you here at four o'clock in the morning as you reach for the doorknob. And as soon as you turn the doorknob, just the slightest bit, and I kick the door open. They're all armed with assault rifles and they're in full military fatigues. You get thrown to the ground. One of the men are told to stay with you. And you watch the others start rummaging through all of your stuff that you wouldn't even think would be important to a stranger. You're going through your refrigerator, through your desk, through all your papers, through everything. Now the guy that's stuck with you and watch you tells you that he's feeling nice this particular night. You're allowed to make a phone call, but it's only be two minutes. You're not allowed to say what's going on. You're not allowed to say where you're going. Other than that, you're allowed to phone call. Who would you call? And why would you call them? And would you just be somebody a message, considering how late in the, in the night it is, or early in the morning it is? Or, or would you attempt to speak to them? And, and, and he tells you that you can take one object with you. And that's of, of value to you. And it's not enough to be edible. That's an actual physical object that's of value to you. What would that one object be that you're allowed to take with you? And why would you choose that particular object? The reason why I'm putting that scenario past you is because unless we stop this legislation in its tracks 
And unless we get up and start fighting real hard to piece back together our United States Constitution, and unless we grab a hold real strong from the last little bit of freedoms we have, and unless we return as a nation back to God, That is the scenario we all are facing. One day, in the middle of the night, that's what you're going to wake up to. This is a desperate plea from one Christian American to another. And to all the homeschoolers, to all the gun owners, and to all the war veterans, the tea partiers, the oath keepers, and every other patriotic American citizen out there. This is a desperate plea to all of you to please and stop brushing people like myself and others off. Finally, heed the warning. See what's happening. And stop looking at yourself as you can't do anything, because yes, you can. We still have a little bit of freedom left. Not much, but it's just enough when we just might be able to save America. <clears throat> so please, let's start working together. Let's pull together as a nation. And let's stop this socialist train in its tracks. Let's prove to our founding fathers that this country is just as patriotic and just as free spirited and just as God fearing as they were then. And that we will do whatever it takes to make sure that we, that we have our freedoms. And that we will do whatever it takes to make sure that our children and our children's children can be even more free and an even better life than we had. And that we will do whatever we can to make sure for generations to come they will be able to have a good life and they will be able to live the American dream in a free country. A country that is the land of the free in the home of the brave. There are many that are saying that we're no longer free, that America is the land of the fearing. And America is home of the cowards. Now we can do one of two things. We can agree to that, or we can hear these remarks and prove them wrong. Are we truly, have we truly become the home of the coward? In the land of the fearing? Or are we still in the land of the free, in the home of the brave? That is a decision that you must decide now before it is too late. Please, let's work together as a nation. Let's return to God as a nation. Let's peace die the Constitution. And let's guarantee that future generations to come are able to live in a free world as free men, not as slaves for their corporate masters.
God bless.